Hello and welcome back to The Cock Dice. We're back for another conversion video and this week we're doing a Primaris Judiciar. These Dao Warriors are somewhere between a Chaplain and a Master of Executions wielding this rather massive Execution of Relic Blade and a strange device known as a Temper Mortis um, which is rather handy in combat and you can go and look at the data sheets for what that does. Anyway, there's been a lot of comments about this guy, uh, quite a lot of people dislike certain bits of him so I thought I'd tackle a bit of a conversion and just improve him a little bit let's say I think I'll improve him we'll see bits wise as we can see here we're going to do a few different things so first of all we're going to take this uh, weapon arm and take it off his shoulder and drop it down to by his side we give him a pistol instead of the great big hourglass thing because I'm not a massive fan of that we're going to swap out the helmet that pretty much 90% of people dislike, apparently. There's quite a lot of hate for the head. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of the uh, kind of veil that he's wearing. Um, so I'm just going to give him a Reaver skull helmet because it seems pretty fitting. Various extra accoutrements just to hide any mistakes I make. Uh, I'm going to try and remove this side of his jacket and re-sculpt in a new jacket. So that's where we're going to take this guy. Let's take it away. So really the first job on this guy, I'm, I'm going to tackle this um, sleeve. I don't like the way he's got a, kind of half his jacket off his shoulder. And since I want to give him a, a shoulder pad um, on both arms, I don't really like the uh, lopsided look of the original model. I'm going to have to take this off and then re-sculpt in a matching bit of jacket on this side. It should be relatively easy because there's no buttons, it's just some buttonholes. Um, I think I'll skip the sleeve on this arm. Um, but I'll just sculpt this back in again. I think I'll give him a pretty cool look. So I don't really need the sleeve, so we're just going to start clipping it away here. Um, we're going to follow the inside of his jacket here, straight up. And then take the outside of his sleeve off. We'll fix anything with green stuff later. Just need to get it off his body. Probably the best we're going to do with clippers. I'll clean up the rest with a knife in a minute. I'll just tackle this side as well. So this side we're just going to take this little bit here off. So I've just glued the two body parts together now and you can kind of see the amount of repair work we're going to need to do on here. It's not awful. Um, these are easy build figures so he's not fit together particularly neatly there but it's just a seam of green stuff down there. I don't think that's going to be too bad. I think we'll be able to sort that out relatively simply just by adding some pouches around here and that will hide a lot of the damage that we've just done. So we'll get on to which arm should we do first? We'll do this arm first. I think it's the easy one to do. So first jobs first, we need to sort out this sword. Now I don't need any of the rest of this arm. I'm just going to take this right behind here now for his actual arm, I've really struggled to find an arm that was in a position I want. I'm going to try and have him carrying a sword blade down there somewhere. There's not a lot of those in the Intercessor's kit or other uh, kind of Primaris Marine kits. So I've used, I'm going to use this one from a Reaver kit, which obviously means we need to shave this down and we need to take some of this arm off um, to match the glove. So I'm going to shave the shoulder down first. That's just a matter of clipping off this shoulder pad just by a couple of millimetres. So there, yeah, right, that's nice and cleaned up. And as you can see, we'll take a shoulder pad nice and neatly and there's nothing really sticking out from it. The next job is going to be lining the shoulder, this arm up. So we just kind of need to line his knuckles up. I'm going to make it a little longer. You can kind of see where we need to cut there. We need to cut a line basically across there. I'm going to take it down just a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to essentially shave this down until it fits. Yeah, I think that's about right. So we will get this 
that one glued together and onto the Space Marine. So as this guy's got this huge void in his shoulder, before I put the shoulder pad on, I'm going to fill this with some green stuff and then flatten it off a little bit. Making sure your tools are a little bit wet. So that the green stuff doesn't stick to them. This doesn't need to be particularly neat because it's going to be hidden. So yeah, that'll do nicely. So because this is only stuck on some green stuff, I'm just going to pop this shoulder off and pop this arm to one side to dry off and cure. And we'll use some super glue to stick it on a little later. That'll leave us plenty of space to be able to sculpt around this, uh, this um, side of his body here. So for his other arm, I'm actually going to bring this out a little bit. So rather than me pointing straight in front of him, I want to give him a bit of an angle and point this shoulder this way. That's going to require us to trim a little bit off his shoulder here and then nudge this around to make sure we've got some angle on it. Don't need a huge amount off, just enough to bring his arm out this way so he's pointing his hand away. I'm also going to clip off this front bit here because I don't have a peg in his other hand. Now for this guy you want a slightly different style of bolt pistol. You want the Exitus um, bolt pistol. There's only two models so far that have one of these. This one's from the Primaris Apothecary or the other Primaris Chapin also has one of these. For this, I'm just gonna scrape off the Apothecary symbol. Right, so there's his pistol sorted out. We'll just drop it on his hand. Just to help it fit a little smoother, and then we'll stick it onto this side. So to make sure it's relatively level with the ground, I'm going to put my base now. Which gives me something else to hold while I'm sculpting him. And there we have it. We've just changed his pose very slightly to be now looking this way whilst he's stepping that way. So to carry on um, sort of accentuating that pose, we could pop his head on. Have his head follow the line of his bolt pistol rather than looking forwards. So we're going to start some green stuff in now. First job we're going to do is just give this arm a little more support in here by dropping a a lot of green stuff in. There we go, that's starting to look pretty cool. So I need to fill this big void in here next. Fill that off again. So for his backpack, we're going to add this flaming uh, brazier. Now I've 3D printed this one. If you haven't got a 3D printer or a friend with access to one, you can pick up something very similar to this from the Salamanders kit. I think it's the Salamanders upgrade kit. There's one almost identical to this in there. Otherwise, I'll stick the link for Thingverse in the description below if you want to grab this model for yourself. So to hide the messy belt here, we're going to add in some pouches with just a dab of glue and about here. And these are from the Intercessors kit. So 
to hide this kind of shoulder a little bit because I'm not overly happy with the way that's come out. I'm just going to dab a bit of glue there. Just drop purity seal up there and that will hide most of my rubber sculpting. Like that. And to tie him in with the sergeants and blade guard and, and other captains, lieutenants from Indominus, we're going to give him a shoulder shield just up here. There, I think it wants to be. So I'll just dab a bit of glue on here. Just drop on a purity seal there to cover up where I've cut off the. Uh, um, Helix symbol for the apothecary. Oh, just throw him across the table. And I think we shall call him done at that point. So if you hang around one moment, you'll be able to see a painted video of him. Thank you very much. So thank you very much for joining us once again here at Cockdice. We will see you again soon. Good night.